in another sense also the shodashi puja is a landmark in her life it made her a vital part of shri ramakrishna's mission in that right the master invoked in her the presence of the divine mother the same supreme energy that was manifesting itself through his own personality henceforth just as in the case of the master her body and mind became the venue of expression for that energy her future actions were all therefore devoid of any personal object but meant to fulfill the great mission that was being worked out through the master she and the master could henceforth be described as two bodies actuated by the same spirit the divine mother as we shall see for the rest of her life she helped the master in his work through personal service after his passing away his mantle fell on her and through a long period of spiritual ministry she fulfilled what he had left unfinished